Hello, I'm Mario Bergeron with Avnet. I'm here at the Embedded Vision Summit at the Xilinx booth and I'm showing a development kit that we have that's integrated with the new Xilinx Revision stack. So if we take a look here at the monitor, we can see that I've got um, a, uh, an image fusion example which is combining a visible image with a thermal image and combining them together. And all the uh, computer vision um, implementation was done with the uh, revision stack which is actually SDSOC and the HLS C the Gates compiler. So just an overview of the hardware here. We have our Pico Z uh, SOM with the Zinc 7030 device uh, connected up to an FMC carrier which has our FMC module with a Python camera. So this is the visible image sensor from on semiconductor and I've also got a FLIR lepton thermal sensor here connected up uh, to a PMOD. Hello? So the way that this looks like in terms of um, algorithm, we're taking the visible image and generating the, uh, extracting the edges from that visible image and then we're going to combine that with the thermal content. So on the thermal side, because the image is so small, it's only a 60 by 80 image, I need to actually resize and warp it uh, to align with the visible image before combining it um, to the final output here. So as we can see, trying to do the, all these operations in an ARM processor, if we go back to um, just the Sobel operation here, we can kind of see that if we select the Sobel filter running in software, we can kind of see here that the CPU utilization is at 100%, yet uh, the processor is not able to achieve real time. We're not even getting about a frame per second here. So the idea is these, these compute intense functions, we want to accelerate them to hardware. So here in the interface, I can select the hardware implementation that was pre-built and we can see now that the CPU utilization has dropped down and we're getting a real-time performance, right, for the edges. So now if we add the other processing, so if I select my even image fusion design, what we're also doing, in addition to the Sobol, is we're also going to do some warping and resizing that thermal image to the final visible size and then combining them together. So these three functions were the most compute intensive. Um, they were written in C and they were accelerated to hardware with the revision stack. What that means is the HLS uh, C to Gates compiler took this C code and generated an accelerator core. So this is a combination of one of the functions I wrote myself, the combined function, which was fairly simple, but for these more complex functions, I actually used the new uh, library of optimized functions that, that uh, Xilinx has added to their solution. So that, for me, I didn't have to rewrite that C code. I was able to just use a library of pre-optimized uh, C functions. So the, the general idea is that when I wanted to move these to hardware, if we look at the general overview of the, the platform, uh, HLS created hardware accelerators from the C code, but an SDSOC took those accelerator cores and connected them up into the design with the DMA interfaces connecting up to the processor. So this, this entire uh, operation was automated by the SDSOC, which is a saved me a lot of time in terms of implementation. What used to take me about half a day or more just to connect up the accelerator cores and then creating the drivers and the design has become now a 30 to 45 minute operation. Um, so a very good productivity tool. And this is kind of like the final... Uh, of course, it, to align the thermal image and the visible image, I've created a little interface here because the thermal image actually has a wider field of view than the, than the visible image, so I need to take a subset of that thermal image in order to align it um, with the visible image. So, so the warping operation is actually uh, to take care of the perspective that's, that's going on between the two image sensors. Uh, it's not only a resize operation, it's actually a warping operation as well. So these four points actually determine, they, they correspond to the, to the four corners in the visible image here, which I pre-calibrated. But if I, take, if I turn that off, you'll see what happens. Whereas we can see here, we can see the visible face is higher than the actual thermal content. So we need to take a subset of that thermal image 
to align it with the visible image. And you, this, this can be done in real time. It's implemented with OpenCV functions. And right, you can do any arbitrary shape of four points, and they will be warped to the visible image. So I've pre-calibrated this with some values that I saved. Um, so we've got it calibrated for approximately this distance. So thanks for watching, and if you want more information on the uh, the Avnet kit, I'd invite you to go look at picoz.org, and if you want more information about the revision stack, to visit the Xilinx website. Thank you very much.